What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're doing something a little bit different from what I usually post on my channel. Today, I want to go over this. I've seen this uh, story about this guy named Rico Harris. I was looking through all these like unsolved mysteries and murders because I was doing a little series on my TikTok. And by the way, if y'all haven't followed me on TikTok, it's going to be right here. Go give me a follow. Um, so I was doing a little bit of research on all these mysteries and unsolved stuff. And I ran into one that really was like pretty crazy because they, the dude was a former Harlem Globetrotter and it, this happened to him. Like it's just, he was almost a celebrity. Like he wasn't, he wasn't one of the best Harlem Globetrotters, but he was still on the team. So what happened to him is absolutely crazy. So I wanted to make a video about it, telling y'all about it because I don't think a lot of people know about it because it was such like under, underrated, I guess. So, today we're going to be talking about the disappearance of Rico Harris. This guy, this guy was six foot nine. Six foot nine. Huge, huge guy. He's seven inches taller than me. Six foot nine Rico Harris. So, he was a former Harlem Globetrotter, like I said, and he ended up getting kicked off the team because he failed a drug test. And that just kind of just ruined his life right there. He started going downhill instead of Focus on getting back to basketball and all that. He decided to just keep using drugs, pick up alcohol, turn into an alcoholic. He got into fights with his girlfriend and his family. He ended up moving to Southern California by himself. And he eventually got really bad. Like to the point where he was in the hospital from overdose. And that night he decided he wants to play basketball again. He's tired of doing this. He wants to get his life back together. So, he started going to AA meetings, he started going to rehab, and he was on the track to get his life back together. He finally made up with his girlfriend, who lived in Seattle, and he decided he wanted to go up and live with her in Seattle. So, he was heading from Southern California on, I think it was Interstate I-5 or something. He was going north to Seattle to live with his girlfriend, and he was driving for hours and hours. And he was on the phone with his girlfriend, and he told her, he said, I think I'm going to stop for the night. I'm going to park over here. I'm going to look at the mountains. I'm going to chill out, maybe take a nap, then get back on the road. She said, okay, that's fine. I love you, blah, blah, hung up the phone. That was the last phone call she ever received. That was the last time she ever heard Rico Harris's voice. So about two weeks later, this park ranger from up in, from up in the mountains came down and found Rico's car. He ended up calling the cops. They all came. He was nowhere to be found. So they did a massive search. They had dogs, tens of almost a hundred people out there looking for Rico Harris. Nothing. There was they found two footprints outside of the car, and that was it. He had just disappeared. They searched for about three or four days and then finally gave up on the search. When a week after they canceled the search, somebody called in stating that they just seen a enormous six foot nine man walking down the middle of the interstate and then boom the search was back on they searched for three or four more days they found footprints that weren't there before they found dna on his car fresh dna saliva and hair fresh they searched the car at first and took up all the dna samples all the hair they could find found fresh hair found fresh saliva fresh like 10 15 footsteps or footprints and they were finally on the track they thought they were going to find him and then nothing no more footprints no more dna nothing no more sign of rico harris at all he disappeared again and that was it nobody ever seen him nobody knows what happened to him to this day this case is still open 15 years later Still open. Nobody knows what happened to Rico Harris. He disappears. They search for him for four or five days. Then a week after that, after they get done searching for him, a week after they get done searching for him, somebody sees he's six foot nine. It's hard to miss a six foot nine guy in the middle of the interstate. They see him, call it in, come. There's fresh footprints by where his car was. There's DNA on like the leftover on whatever was around where his car was because they towed his car from wherever his car was there was fresh DNA fresh 
either spit or it might have been some pee or something. I don't know. Fresh DNA. And then nothing. He wore a size 16 tennis shoe. A size 16. You can't tell me there's two guys in that same area. Or there's another guy coming back to that area that wears a size 16. Stepping around there. No, there's no way. It was the same exact footprint that they found the night he was found. To this day, nobody has no idea what happened. And that is the disappearance of Rico Harris. Let me know if y'all like these type of videos. I love doing these type of videos. I love all these unsolved mysteries, murders, and all that. I love doing it. I love doing the research for it. I love finding it and then telling y'all. So if y'all like these type of videos, please hit that like button. Let's see if we can get... Let's just go with 10 likes. If we can get 10 likes on this video, I will do another one of these with a fresh case. And tell me down in the comments if y'all want me to go deeper. I can go deeper. And I can get a, I can get one of those boards that they put up and like tie strings and like to suspects. I can do all that. Trust me. I can do it. So let me know down in the comments if y'all want to see something like that. And yeah, that was the disappearance of Rico Harris. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm JT. I'm out. Peace.